A sage while taking a stroll by the river sees a couple fighting and shouting at each other. Apparently, they had lost something valuable and were holding each other responsible for that. Looking at their state, he suddenly stopped, looked at his disciples and asked, "Why do we shout when we are angry?" The disciples were surprised to receive a question out of nowhere. One of them said, "We shout because we lose our calm." The sage responded, "Right. But still, why do you have to shout or raise your voice when the person is standing right in front of you? It is not as if the person won't hear you if you talk to them softly." Why can't we continue talking in the same manner as we were talking before we got angry? The disciples gave some more answers, but the sage was not satisfied. Finally, he explained, "Anger creates distance. When two people are angry at each other, their hearts are no longer close. They no longer feel each other's emotions and go miles apart." to cover that distance they shout the angrier they are the louder they shout and immediately all the love acceptance and respect between them ceases to exist we know that the best way to resolve a conflict is to have a dialogue but what we don't realize is that success of a dialogue depends on how keenly we listen and not on how well we speak People in the state of anger lose the very intent to listen. They can't hear each other. All they desire is to be heard and they believe the only way they can make themselves heard is by raising their voice. So they shout. Now imagine a conversation based on love. Would there be shouting involved? I'm sure you would never find the need for that. There will be softness in your speech. At times due to the proximity of your hearts you might just have to whisper and that would be enough the closer your hearts get the lesser words you might need to communicate in fact it won't be an exaggeration to say that when two people are deeply connected they might be able to communicate even in silence a simple look or a physical gesture would convey all that is there in your heart That's how close two people can get when they are in love. There are times when we find ourselves in disagreement with our family, friends or companion. These disagreements can lead to arguments too. But one must be wise enough to understand how much of an importance should be given to an argument. Is it more important than the person itself? If no, then you must do all that it takes to resolve it quickly but if yes then you must realize that your real enemy here is your own lesser self and you are losing to it when we are in an argument the intent should be to fight the differences and not the person itself we must fight together to get on to the same page and not distance ourselves further We must understand that it's okay to disagree but not okay to disrespect. Sharing one's disagreements and displeasures should eventually bring two people closer. And for that to happen, refraining oneself from shouting or using harsh words is really important. Because if we don't do that, a day will come when the gap between the hearts will be so much that it will be nearly impossible. to cover the distance